Toggle's daily video insights. My name is Jan. I'm one of the co-founders of Toggle. And for those of you joining us for the first time, we usually take a deeper dive into one of the many insights produced by Toggle across thousands of US equities and take a look at what potential drivers could be powering the stock up or down. Today, the focus is going to be on Activision Blizzard. And if you'd like to see more of these insights, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or else you can even test drive Toggle Copilot yourselves just by going to toggle.global and signing up. The focus today, as I mentioned, is going to be on a company that hasn't had some specific insights for quite some time. As you can see back here, there were two insights correctly pointing out that sentiment was turning bullish for Activision. The stock did rally, it then ultimately peaked um, uh, well before or very near actually the, the kind of the targeted level and uh, in the end came all the way back down here where on the basis of analyst revisions it could mean that another short-term rally is in stock. Now clicking on this insight we can take a quick look as to what the underlying uh, driver and the reasoning is. As you can see we're starting with the price of 91.15 and the one month horizon would see the price rise potentially to 9601 again with this pretty wide confidence interval because when toggle analyzed past similar occasions to the current one it found that there was quite a wide dispersion so in fact sometimes you saw a five percent return quite a bit sooner than within the one month horizon now there have been 16 similar occasions where we've had a similar setup and to have a look at what the setup actually was you're seeing that currently the percentage of positive revisions seems to have actually decreased. So perhaps analysts have not been upgraded the stock as much as in the past. And combined with both momentum, which also based on the recent sell-off has actually come back down to a point where it typically bounces, as well as low volatility, Toggle concluded that actually across these previous occasions, there was a case for a short-term bounce in this particular stock. Looking at the past performance, actually, you can see that quite compelling. Again, the dispersion of past returns suggests relatively l low number of cases where, where, where the stock, in fact, continued to go down. And so this does underline the importance of respecting your reassess level, the red line in the chart that we looked at previously. But a number of outcomes were quite a bit higher than 5%. So again, a very one-sided risk return in this case based on the three variables that Toggle was able to look at. Reminding everybody again of the importance of the confidence interval, what you typically want to see is the price to stay roughly within this area. But certainly if you were to dip below 88.72, you need to reassess whether or not something else is driving the stock that Toggle simply did not pick up. So take a look, see how it fits in your overall view of this particular stock and see whether or not it might fit. So much for Activision. In the daily brief today, we also have a quick discussion about the chip shortage in the auto sector industry. Auto stocks, as you know, have done very well so far this year, but the chip shortage for what is now effectively a computer on wheels really is a meaningful problem for the industry. And so anybody who's currently in these positions should pay attention and see how it might impact their view of the sector. Thanks very much, and we'll see you again tomorrow.